Thank you, Charles. Scott Dean's job was to save lives each and every day. And just an hour before that deadly fire last night, he was doing just that. The night team's Josh Skernick spoke with one woman who was treated by the six-year SAFD veteran yesterday and is grateful he acted quickly when her own life was in danger. An hour before the four-alarm fire, which took the life of firefighter Scott Deem, he was helping save the life of Desiree Flores. I would say he was very put together. He was very calm and, you know, maintained himself very well. He was, he was very heroic. Along with her friend Alyssa Griffin, Flores was watching her son's football practice when she was likely bitten by an ant. And I noticed once I saw her face that something wasn't right. Like, okay, we need to go now. The closest place for help, Station 35, a station now in grieving. Walking in around 8 yesterday evening during the firefighters' dinner, Flores says the crew didn't hesitate. They picked up my shirt from the back and they're like, you're completely covered in hives, like extremely bad. Six-year SAFD veteran Deem was tasked with giving oxygen. A complete professional. She says she remembers the 31-year-old's humor. He was talking to us, he was joking around, you know, just trying to keep everybody in a good mood, you know, trying to keep me calm and relaxed. Griffin says the first responders told her her friend might not have made it if they went to an ER farther away. They learned of Deem's death early this morning. Both military wives and mothers, they say the sacrifice of the father of two expecting a third has left a deep impact. For him being there and doing the, his daily job, the job that he loved, the job that, you know, was his life, he gave his life for it. Both Griffin and Flores urged the community to give back through donations and memorials. As you can see here at the fire where he gave his life, people are giving thanks to keep his memory alive. But the San Antonio Fire Department asked you to leave flowers, memorials at public safety headquarters. Reporting live on the West Side, Josh Kernick, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Josh. Now, if you would like to donate and help the injured firefighters or their families, we'll be hosting a phone bank on Tuesday to accept donations for the Burned Out Survivors Fund. It's a nonprofit charitable organization that helps those affected by a fire loss.